I've never filmed this late before. Wow. <laughs> Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalie. So for today's video, we are going to be doing a bookshelf tour. Yes, I am finally going to show off my bookshelf. So I want to make this intro very quickly just because you guys know how I love to talk. So obviously I'm going to be going on long rants about how I organize my books. So a little quick note about how I organize my books. Um, I don't do it by color. I do it by genre. And I do it by some, some shelves. I do it by favorites. So obviously like my Holy Grail shelf. There are some shelves that where I put the books, I put them there because that shelf is filled with books that I don't read or books that I read but I don't like or books that I love but aren't Holy Grail shelf. So I have two different like sorting methods. I have by favorites and then by genre so I will tell you guys oh and then I have three shelves by series as you can tell right here is one of them Percy Jackson and you can tell like a little bit right here is the um, Shadow Hunter Chronicles so I only have one two three shelves like that other than that they are by what I said so this is gonna be kind of hard I don't know how I'm going to film this but I am and yeah I am excited for this so Let's get into it. I think I'm gonna start from the top down. I swear that's gonna be easier for me. So let's get into it. Also, I think I'm gonna turn off my ring light or maybe not, I don't know. Um, depends how it looks. Cause I kind of want you guys to get like the real effect of it. Not like the, you know, not like the fake colors. Like I want you guys to actually see the books. I don't know how, which one would be the best way. Um, so yeah, but anyway get into it okay um this is a horrible angle and i apologize <laughs> but this is the only way i could stabilize it and this one's kind of a boring shelf anyway so we can just speed through it these are just books that i either have read and i didn't like it's so like the proposal um anonymous girl um what else the crown's game i didn't really like people like us i dnf'd I didn't have to propose, I gave this one with three stars. And then, but this is not just my bad shelf. I also have books that I just haven't started yet. So like The Goldfinch, um, a lot of my um, nonfiction. So In Cold Blood, Green Red, Running Red, but The Green River Killer, my Arabian Nights copy, Little Woman, of course. Um, but then I also have Stay Sex and Don't Get Murdered for my favorite podcast, um, My Favorite Murder. So it's kind of like an array of things. So this is kind of, this shelf is kind of just like my miscellaneous shelf. Um, it's not really that cute. I have Daryl from The Walking Dead up here as my Funko Pop, and I have all of these leaves. That's a theme. And then I have this cute little painting that my friend got me. So yeah, this one's not really that cute of a shelf. Um, sorry if I'm out of breath. That was a hassle trying to get you guys stabilized. But yeah, so you guys aren't really missing that much. It doesn't even matter that it's not a cute angle because like I said, just miscellaneous, just random stuff. Um, maybe some of these will be changed, so like Thieves, The Goldfinch, I might move somewhere else when I read it. Um, maybe if I get a true crime shelf, I will change these. So yeah, and then I'm probably gonna unhaul the proposal. And I normally unhaul Strange Grays. I read like the first couple pages and I didn't like it. So yeah. Okay, so this one's a little bit cuter. Um, these are kind of my romance, my leftover romances, and kind of my contemporaries. This one's a little bit cuter because I have my little sign here that my cousin gave me when I graduated college. She believes she could, so she did. Yeah, so this one's a little bit cuter. I have my Harry Potter. I have my Spider-Man from the Civil War era, and I have my romances that I'm starting to collect here hidden in the back and yeah so I have my to all the boys I've loved before the flat share all the light you cannot see that I'm excited to start I have my Simon VS uh universe copies the hate you give that I'm excited to read running with lines that I'm excited to read we set the dark on fire I have my two contemporary or literary fictions hidden in the side uh, Little Fires Every Everywhere, which I read like halfway and I did not like, so I need to try that again. And Normal People, which I'm really excited because I really, 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 really want to see the 
movie TV show. And I have my extra copy of Aristotle and Dante Discovered the Secrets of the Universe, my first ever copy that I got in 2016. But of course, I had to buy the hardcover because I tried to buy all the hardcover editions of my favorite books ever. So yeah, so this one's a little bit cuter, a little bit more decoration, a little bit more thought to it. Books that I've actually enjoyed are in here. So yeah, um, very cute. I like this one. I like this shelf. It's a very, um, gives me young adult vibes, you know? Cute. And then the shelf right underneath it is just kind of my uh, leftover young adult fantasy ones. So we have like Nocturna, Mirage, Reverie, Two War Crosses, um, The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, which I saw with Meg with books on her video and she loves these two books so I'm really excited to start them. Darius the Great is Not Okay, The Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, um, Such a Fitting Age is over there, The Gentleman's Guide to Rights and Virtue, Atomic Love, and then I have my cute little um, sign that says Stop and Smell the Flowers, which I love. I got this in downtown LA. I think it is so cute because it really does remind you to just take a breath once in a while. And this one is, did I do that? So, <laughs> just, you know, take a deep breath sometimes. And then we have my Steve Trevor from Wonder Woman. It's just kind of, again, miscellaneous. Um, these are just books that I didn't couldn't fit in my fantasy uh, shelves or books that I had really no use for elsewhere. I uh, didn't really fit in elsewhere. So love them, just miscellaneous kind of these three are kind of just miscellaneous i kind of just put them elsewhere at the top middle and bottom these are just ones that i had to fill in these were just leftovers um and i think that's what i decorated with cute stuff just because the books themselves i don't really have that much of an attachment to like my other books so i wanted to make sure that i made it cute still so even though i don't really visit these shelves as often as my other ones I still like to look at them. They're still very cute. So yes, these are my three boring shelves. I will say that. No, there's one more. I only have four boring shelves. One, two, three, and then another one. After these, I promise it gets good. And these are actually my favorite either nonfiction, true crime books, and my favorite classic. There is some backstory to this middle shelf. This middle shelf is my favorite shelf. This is my all of my favorites. You will have my Holy Grail shelf in this bookcases. You will have my Latinx books. You will have my favorites books of all time that aren't Holy Grail. So oh, so I'm going to do the top ones first and then we can sit down and talk about the bottom ones. I will on camera. You'll actually see me on camera. Um, so we have my favorite book of all time, all time, all time, The Picture of Dorian Gray. We have almost all of, or I think all of Oscar Wilde's um, books because he is my favorite author of all time, all time, all time favorite author, Oscar Wilde. If I could sit down with one person in history, it's tied between Oscar Wilde and probably Alexander the Great, I would say. And I have my Greek tragedies, Medea. I have Euripides over there, the Orestia. I have Pride and Prejudice, Wuthering Heights, All Begun in the Dark, obviously, My Little Thor. Um, I have this really, 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 really gorgeous print that I got in my used bookstore, Little Think Succulent, and my Dia de los Muertos. So this is a very cute shelf. I love it. I adore it. Oh my God. And of course, the Iliad, one of my favorite pieces of history of all time, the Iliad of Homer. Love it. Okay, so this one's a little bit barren. As you can tell, it's a little bit ugly, but this is another one of my favorite bookshelves. I mean, one of my favorite shelves. I This is where I have a lot. Um, so I have, first of all, my little Hermione. So I have, obviously, J. Clone, The Extraordinary is one of my favorite books of all time, and The House of Cerulean Sea, which I adored right here. I don't know if you guys remember from other videos, I would have Cemetery Boys. I have my two, um, Benjamin Alliris Cyan's, Aristotle and Dante, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, and The Inexplicable inexplicable logic of my life. I have my beautiful cover of C.O. Martinez, and of course, that is my favorite book of 2020. I have Elizabeth Acevedo's Poet X, one of my favorite books of all time as well. I have 
Gods of Jade and Shadow by Silvia Moreno Garcia and Furia. So I have a lot of my Latinx books here, or I think all of my Latinx books. And then right here, I'm going to move this over, probably somewhere here, will be my cover of Mexican Gothic. But I, again, I have my, I let my sister-in-law borrow it. So I want to display it right there. This is one of my favorite shelves. This is, I have three favorite shelves. This is one of them. Right here. Where we're going to start is right here. This is my favorite shelf. This is my favorite shelf. And the last is my favorite shelf. Um, yeah. So I love this. I love to display my covers because they're so pretty. Go support your Latinx authors, of course. So I love this shelf. Um, yeah. The only bad thing about these bookcases are that I wish the shelves themselves were a little bit longer. Just because I would fit other stuff in this shelf if I had the space. But I don't. And... So it's the only thing, and it sucks because obviously I can just turn the cover, like, you know, normal, place it normally, but I want to display these books, they're so pretty. So I don't know, but I mean, obviously when I start buying more Latinx author books, that's going to be a problem. So yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but that's the reason why it's spared. I'm reading Cemetery Boys right now, and Mexican Gothic will be right here. But yes, one of my favorite shelves. Love them. They're so pretty. So of course, that's why I had to put Hermione there because I love Hermione. Okay, and then this is my Holy Grail shelf. Yes. Holy Grail. Holy Grail. Everything about this is Holy Grail. Okay, so let's start with the accessories. I have Poe Dameron, my favorite Star Wars character. I have, obviously, my little pumpkin with an N because I'm my favorite person. Not really, but, you know, self-confidence. I have Captain America, my favorite superhero of all time, Chris Evans, favorite actor of all time. I have my Taylor Swift Folklore CD signed. I don't know if Folklore is my favorite Taylor Swift album because Red is so my favorite Taylor Swift album, so. But she is probably my favorite artist, uh, tied with Lord. I have my little scarecrow that reminds me of Autumn and Pumpkins and Halloween. And then I have Draco, but I think I might change him to somewhere because I don't know if he's Holy Grail material. No, I might change him somewhere. Not sure. Um, okay, so the books themselves. I will have dedicated videos for all of these, of course. Um, just not right now. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing something in December when I am off, when after exams, obviously, and I can, you know, have a breather. Just do what I want to do, read what I want to do, read what I want. And so I just feel like because it's going to be after final exams, I might want you know to read comfort books and so these are all my comfort books so what are the books we have the raven cycle with custom as you can tell these are not the normal hardcover copies this is these are custom i bought them from an artist um i don't really want to take them out because it's kind of a hassle to take them out but i will obviously show them when i do my whole dedicated video to it that is the first book i've ever annotated that is my favorite book of all time it has my favorite character of all time adam parish who i love 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 i love so yes um the raven cycle as you guys can tell by my twitter and my instagram name like, they line reads <laughs> i love it favorite series of all time blue lily lily blue one of my favorite books of all time because of adam Okay, and then I have my second favorite series of all time, and this has my second favorite character of all time. Actually, that's kind of a statement because uh, it's mm, because Andrew Minyard might be my favorite character of all time too. I have a necklace. I will show you guys when I'm back on camera that has A, a little charm that says A, and that is because of Adam and Andrew. So mm, actually, they might both be my favorite characters of all time. And so this is my second favorite series of all time. Um, these, this is the book that got me back into reading in 2016 um, when I kind of fell off after I grew out of my Percy Jackson, Harry Potter. Fully helped me become a reader again in my adult years was off of the game. So I will always love this series, even though it has its problems. This is one of my favorite series of all time. And then I have... Uh, which is probably like my holy trinity is right here um the raven cycle all for the game and six of crows duology i love the six of crows duology i adore it so much i have kaz kaz is one of my favorite characters of all time anedge kanedge is my favorite you know straight relationship i love them so much and i love this series so much and i highly recommend it because it is such a good 
I highly recommend all these books. All these books I really recommend. So, and then I have my Shadow and Bone trilogy. And I know a lot of people don't like it, but I adore it. I love it so much. And yes, I love that Mal and Lena got together. I don't like Dark Lena. I don't understand. But then there are people who like them. But those are the same people who like Raylo. Oops. Anyway, carry on. Um, so, yeah. So, I actually like these. I know this is a controversial opinion because many people do not like it. And they kind of stopped reading it after the first or second book. But I could not believe how good it was. I actually read first the Six of Crows first and then when I was going to read the second one there was a lot of references in this one that kind of floored my head. You don't really need to read the Shadow and Brown trilogy to, in order to understand Six of Crows but when I was reading Six of Crows there was a lot of kind of offhand comments that I feel like I was missing because I didn't read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and some people didn't care but I do so I had so I put a hold on it before I read Crooked Kingdom and I read the Shadow and Bone trilogy and let me say me personally, I enjoyed the Six of Crows duology much more after I read this, just because in this one, we do have a lot of characters who come in that are from the Shadow and Bone trilogy, like Nikolai, who I adore, and Zoya, and we love Nikolai and Zoya together. So yes, and then I have more, um, yeah, the only one that can contest six of crows as the third place in my holy trinity is my folk of the year and that is because of jude duarte jude duarte is my favorite female character of all time all time i adore her so much and i am so excited for the how the elf how the king of elfheim um learned to hate stories i have ordered i'm going to order two copies of that uh just because i love it so much and i am so excited to read it because i have missed jude duarte so much and honestly i know it's carton's book but i love jude so much i am literally throwing money at holly black just for jude so yeah um i love these books so much and then i have add some so you guys know that when i read a darker shade of magic the first time i did not really like it and i didn't understand the hype of it but then i read it again and i fell in love and i was like you schwab you genius so i love this i love these series so much i love Fry. i love Hello, Car. I love Lilan. I love Cal, and they are one of my favorites. Oh my god, I forgot to show my book sleeves that I got in my book haul. Ugh. So I got a, I got two book sleeves. One is my from the Raven Cycle, and one was the I think Illumicrate um, special edition of Kyle and Lila. They are one of my favorite straight couples. I adore them. So I love this. And then I have Vicious. And as you can tell, Vengeful is not here because we only claim Vicious. Vicious is one of my favorite books of all time. I love Vicious. I love Eli. I love Victor. Victor is always in my heart. I love him and I highly recommend this. Oh my god, can you tell how much I love Tor? That's funny. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend this one too, especially right now during fall. I think people will really like it. Um, yeah, so obviously I'm going kind of just glossing over these books, but they are, um, I, again, I will make dedicated videos to them. And then I have If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. That's the Dark Academia one. That's funny. These are two at Dark Academia. Um, I love this one. It is just everything that I want my vibe and my aesthetic to be is this, this, just, I love it. Um, very sad. Um, anyway, James and Oliver, they're together right now. That's just that's all I'll say about that. And then I have my Poppy War and my Dragon Republic. Um, I kind of these this last two spots kind of um I've had a lot of <laughs> books rotating in and out of this spot I had um I think I had Daisy and the Daisy Jones and the Six here at one point and The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo here at one point and then I had Truly Divi as a series here at one point and then I had Serpent and Dove here I kind of like switched a lot of these out until I finally read The Poppy War and The Dragon Republic and I thought nope this is the spot that will always be the poppy war but now remember when i said that i don't really have that much space um in these bookshelves where the hell is the burning god gonna go where where is the burning god gonna go i don't know i don't want to stack it on top but i don't know what i'm gonna do so yes my holy grail shelf these are all the books that i adore these my holy 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 books books that i love the mostest yes it's not a word but whatever these are the books that hold my favorite ships my favorite tropes my favorite authors my favorite characters all of that um so if you ever pick up any books from my channel i just suggest these any books of these and i will be happy that you even took any of my recommendations i love this so yeah so this is a third um no this is half of my favorite bookshelf and then remember when i said that i had one last uh boring what is it shelf it's this 
this is just really miscellaneous so, like so these are just books that i had to take out to make room in this bookshelf for books that i really really want to like put next to other books or in my actual shelf and there was no room so i pick out books that i don't really care about being in that genre or being in that section so i was like yeah so these are just books that I haven't read and I don't really care about where they are as long as they are somewhere. Again, miscellaneous, didn't really matter, but we do love Halloween. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus and if you know where that's from, I love you. Okay, and then this is my mystery shelf. So these are mysteries. Um, that's why I put Warner Hardy because he's a genius, an evil genius, and I put Tyrion because even though we don't claim last season Tyrion, up until that he was the smartest person in the Seven Kingdoms. So we, we have to be like Tyrion when we try to figure out mysteries and thrillers. So yeah, these are all just my mysteries slash thrillers. Um, I have, you know, my Riley Sagers, I have my Ruth Wares, I have uh, my Karen Slaughter, I have one of my favorite thrillers of all time, Night Film, I have Gone Girl, um, I have The Good Girl's Guide to Murder, I have my Simone St. James, who I really, really love, I have Rules of Vanishing, that is really, really scary, um, yeah, really recommend that, Silence of Bones, love that, so these is, like I said, stay on patience, this is just books that fit my mystery slash thriller genre, so remember when I said that I do it by preference or by genre, over there was preference, and here is genre, so, um, yeah, this is kind of a dark shelf because I have dark books in this one. Dark as in the color is dark. Over there was much more bright and this is more of a cool tones, blacks, browns, reds. So yeah, like I said, very, can't really decorate much because I do want to show off my titles. Um, but I think I have a pretty good range of mysteries and thrillers. I've uploaded my, um, book haul at this point and again I forgot so I mentioned that it's grainy because I forgot to turn on my for my 4k mode on my camera and I forgot to again I am so mad but oh, thank god I figured it out early enough in the video so now it should be better hopefully um yeah so and then finally before we sit down and talk about my last half of my bookshelves these are just my kind of fantasies um, more adult fantasy. We have some young adult, A Song of Rates of Ruin, and Serpent Dove, The Infinite Noise, and the Brendan Brend, Brendan Sanderson. I don't know if the um An Ember in the Ashes series is considered to be a uh, young adult, but everything else. Oh, and Caravel. Actually, this is just my fantasy, but um mixed with adult fantasy. So I actually don't think I I think I've, and then I've read obviously this is the Invisible Life of Addie LaRue is over here. Um yeah, I don't think I've actually read any of these books except these two. I need to start getting into fantasy again because these are all unread, basically. Except two, these are all unread. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited. I think out of all these, I'm going to start with this one first, the fifth season one. Um, and then for this one, I have Iron Man. We love Iron Man. And I have Jon Snow. We don't, again, we don't claim last season Jon Snow, but we have him there. That's first season Jon Snow, who we do claim. So yes, um, yeah, and a lot of these, I guess, out of all of these, again, my favorites are here, the top three in the front, but all of these are good choices. I can tell you <laughs> numerous people who love at least one of these books. So yes, this is, again, very dark colors and by genre, not preference. These are all just fantasies, for the most part, fantasies, so. Okay, and then these are my, um, Oh, I turned on the light just because now I can reach an outlet. It was too high up over there to reach an outlet. So these are my kind of myths. These are my leftover fantasies. So these are the fantasies that I didn't want to put in my other one. So we have the Gilded Wolves, which I don't really like. I give this two stars. Should I make a whole video about why I don't like it? Over there, Vengeful. Um, we have Carry On over there. We have uh, Children of Blood and Bone, The Inheritance Games. Uh, anxious people over there is um, Hawkeye and we only claim comic book Hawkeye and we have this cute little sign that I love that says today is a good day for a good day and then we just have uh, yeah other fantasies so like the last magician we have the flame there will come a darkness shadows between us yeah again I mean yeah <laughs> and there's not really much else to say about this one this isn't by preference this is by genre yeah 
and I think why but these are still books that I adore that I enjoy like and pretty books like the Gilded Wolves I don't like that but look at that cover gorgeous and then we have one of my favorite shelves of all time this is all of the Camp Half-Blood series so we have my beat up editions of the um Percy Jackson Olympian series and then we have my last no my Heroes of Olympus series and we have Magnus Chase and then we have the Heroes of Apollo the Heroes of Apollo, The Trials of Apollo, and we have my Kane Chronicles, and we have Little Peter Quill with his cassette tape. So I, of course, I knew that I wanted to keep, I think one of the reasons why I didn't do a whole rainbow bookshelf is because I wanted to keep like these kinds of series together, just because I wanted to find them all in like one place and because they deserve to be together. I mean, look at this, Rick Riordan wrote all of these, like that's insane. And yeah, I adore all of these. Um, they will always have a special place in my heart. And I kind of put them, I put them on the lower aspect of the bookshelf just because I felt like I couldn't put them too high up. I don't know, I just felt like that was boring just to have like all from the same series. I feel like it's more fun. Um, like, cause up there I can play around with the bookshelf. Put a book back in or take a book out and i can't do this with this this is very set so i feel like i wanted to keep this towards the lower one so just in case everyone do something fun up there in the middle where people's eye immediately goes when they enter my study room library um i can do that so and then i yeah so not much else to say this is just all of my percy jackson books and then at the very bottom do not drag me i will yeah <laughs> at the very bottom is oh so this is going to be i'm going to put the rest of my twilight books here i'm just currently reading them we're not talking about twilight my sarah j mass <laughs> i can explain um no i i just i just <laughs> it's not that i didn't like oh, see i can't even lie i i put it back i put i put sarah j mass on there because i just don't she's not important to me there's no reason for her to be higher up than that um again i do have all of throne of laugh i do have all of actar so you know what all of you Sarah J Mass fans, I guess, should be happy because yes, I don't like her, but you know what? I'm still giving her my money. So she's still getting money out of my wallet. So again, not really much to say. I have little Luke Skywalker right here. Um, but other than that, that's it. Um, and this is two. This is the second one out of three of set bookshelves. Of book <laughs> yeah. Um, this it's the Person Jackson one, the Sarah J Mass, and then the Cassandra Claire on the other side. Yeah, damn, I really do have all of her books. Except I need, um, what is it called? The Assassin's Blade or something like that. The prequel to Throne of Glass. That's all I need. And then I literally have all of her books. And I am going to continue Akatar. You know why? For Nessa. Because I love Nessa. And she is the only character in this whole series that I actually love and like and tolerate. Oh, and Cassian. Just because he loves Nessa. So, yeah. So he has good taste. I'm really excited to start Throne of Glass. So, really, really, really excited. Um, and then when I have, oh, and then right here is where my house of, Cre the house of sun and blood, the Crescent City one, it's going to go right here. Um, so twilight here, I'm just going to throw it. So yeah. Okay. Oh, they're ugly. So these are books. So on top and on the bottom of my Holy Grail shelf are books that I love, 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 but they're not Holy Grail. I was almost going to put Song of Achilles, and I will talk about that in a future video of why I almost made my Holy Grail shelf. So yeah, so these are books that I love or that I know I'm going to love. So like Holly Black books, obviously, Instant Buy, because it's Holly Black, my Truly Devious, my Comfort Books, TJ Clunes, I found like, all of the Green Creek series, and the Black Kids, of course, uh, Sir Taylor Jenkins Reid, Cersei, and Song of Achilles, King of Scars, and Leigh Bardugo, because she is also on my Instant Buy. Uh, so yeah, and then we have Sarah Sanderson, who I think I might uh, dress up as for Halloween, and Finn. That's all Finn. I think I might put Finn actually on here and take Draco and put him down here. I might do that. I don't want to separate Finn and Poe, obviously. <laughs> so again, that's by preference, not by genre. And yeah, these are all the books that I love. So like I said, these three shelves are my favorite, but this shelf that I will talk about right now is my cutest. I'm supposed to talk about these books more because I can, right? Like that's boring, just like telling you guys a, a, like a description of every of every book, right? Like that's kind of boring because I've talked about these books already before or I'm going to. So it's like for what? 
Okay, and this is my prettiest shelf. These are my romances. I'm going to move two of them out though. I think I'm going to move Lovely War and The Two Lives of Lydia Bird, Bear, Bear, Bird, when I get volume three of Heartstopper and when I put, take a hint, right, Danny Brown, um, here, probably next to get a life Chloe Brown. Yeah, to make room. So yeah, so these are like my romances, my favorite romances or romances that I'm going to love or romances that are really, really cute, uh, like the covers. So we have Check Please, which is not really a romance, but it has a cute romance, Red, White, Red, White, and Royal Blue, um, The Lovely War, or just Lovely War, You Deserve Each Other, which is one of my favorite romances of all time, Felix Ever After, which is amazing. I highly recommend that one. Get a little Koi Brown, which I'm going to read for an upcoming video. Beach Read, which I'm also going to read for an upcoming video. Heartstopper, which I'm going to read after I read Solitaire. And The Kiss Quotient, which everyone says it's amazing. So I have my little pumpkin here. And then I have Bucky and Cap because I shipped them. So who better to put right here on my romance shelf than them? So yeah, so I just love this. I think it is so cute. Like the colors, it's very pinky, very romancy, you know? Yeah. I love it. So like I said, this is my favorite shelf and I love it. And I mean, it's my favorite bookcase and I try my hardest to make this bookcase look cute. Yeah, I love it. And then my last one is kind of just boring because I haven't filled it up yet. So I have this really cute typewriter that I got from Michael's. It's like a fake one, which is this help, which I think is really cute. I have a young Han Solo from Solo and I just have my, um, Secret History by Donna Tartt. A Little Life is right next to it, but I'm currently going to read that. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what I'm going to fill up in this one. I might do like a Dark Academia shelf. And then this is kind of my young adult fantasy section. This is my last bookcase. Um, so I have my um, Renegades trilogy. I have the almost complete um, Winter Chronicles. I have Scythe, Wicked Saints, Choir's War, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And this is where the Illuminate series is going to go after Make Some Room. I don't know what I'm going to cut. Ace of Shades, Deadly Education, um, The Night Circus, Merciful Crow, Wild the Girls, you know, just my young adult fantasy. Um, and, but these are fantasies that I actually like. So I like the Renegade Trilogy. I know I'm going to like the Lunar Chronicles. Um, Cryer's War, of course. The Battle of Salvage the Snake. I gave that four stars. Um, the Midnight Lie. I'm probably going to like Scythe. I've heard great things about. So I am probably going to be giving all of these at least three, four, five stars. Maybe five stars. Um, and so I have my little Fred. I think it's this Fred. It's either Fred or George Weasley. I forgot which one this is. And it has a little, uh, he has a little briefcase that says Weasley and Weasley. It might be Fred. And then I have Michonne. All of my Walking Dead ones are from like the first season. <laughs> Again, I kind of wish this shelf was bigger because what am I going to do when I get winter? Where, where am I going to put the Illuminate Chronicles? I might have to bump something. I might have to bump like this and this. Um, maybe Wilder Girls too. Yeah, I don't know. So, like I said, that's one of the reasons why, again, I put set series, like series and authors that I have, uh, that are complete because I play around with my bookshelves. They're, I, it's not set. The only ones that are set set, for the most part, is my middle bookshelf, the bookcase, and then the other two are just up for grabs. I can do whatever I want with them. Okay, we're almost done. And then these are all of my Cassandra Clare books. Yes, I don't really like Cassandra Clare, but I will buy her books for her characters. We've established this already. So I have my Infernal Devices. I have my Chain of Gold, Goes to the Shadow Market for Gem, my babe. I have the Immortal Instruments, the Dark Artifices, and I have the Red School of Magic. Yeah, I literally have all of her books, except I have to get the new um, Red Scrolls of Magic, the sequel. And then I have Jesus, because we love Jesus. I had him next to Daryl, but then I moved him. I separated them, I know, I'm sorry. And then I have Dean, my favorite supernatural character, and one of my favorite characters of all time. So yeah, so these are just my Cassandra Clare books. Um, again, se separated by author, set. And I was going to put, here's the thing, here's the thing. I was going to put her Cassandra Clare at the bottom, like Sarah J. Mass, but I couldn't. You know why? of her freaking characters because i like her characters i like them like jen i love like magnus and i love isabel and i love um alec 
you know, I don't really like Will. Yes, that's a controversial opinion, but whatever. And I know there's a lot of cute characters in... Oh my god, why are you guys being ugly today? At least they're not being cute today. Um, I know there are a lot of cute characters in the Dark Artifice series. So like I said, I couldn't put her at the bottom because I actually care about these characters. And what's the one thing about me? I love character-driven books. And that is why I will always choose Cassandra Clare over Sarah J. Maas. Just because I actually give, as in like her writings, okay? Not as not them as people. I'm talking about their writings. Because I just care, I just give more of a damn about Cassandra Clare's characters and her stories. And then finally, this is just kind of my horror Stephen King um, miscellaneous. Again, um, not really anything to say about this. That's why it's so bare. There's not even any Funko Pops. Um, that's why it's dusty. I need to dust it. Um, yeah, so I'm just filling this up with honestly Stephen King books. And any horror books that I buy. But other than that, that's it, literally. It is a very boring shelf. Actually, this is also a boring shelf. Well, I have one. Well, my one that has my historical romance is not really that boring. And it's also the one that has like my stop and smell the flowers. Those are really boring. The only ones that are really boring is the very first shelf that I showed and this one. So yeah, that's it. Those are all my shelves. There you go, you guys. You guys have seen all of my shelves, how I I'm very sweaty as you guys can tell. Um, you guys will, you guys saw how I sort them, how I put my little knickknacks, um, any, I kind of went in depth, it's my holy grail shelf. Yeah, so these are my books, these are my bookshelves, I have taken time to actually make them cute, and I have still a lot to do because I am constantly, trust me, I am constantly moving them, like my family has come to check on me to see if I'm alright because I have had people like you just hear like thumps because I just keep on changing them around and I have more books on my cart obviously like I have Jade City over there City that I have put up there I have a lot of romances oh my god I forgot to talk about arcs <gasps> I'm gonna talk about that in my romance I got a lot of arcs in the mail and I was gonna talk about that in my book haul wow okay no I'm gonna talk about that for sure in my romance because they are part of my romance so I have to at least thank the publisher on camera right duh my contact almost fell out oh my god that's a sign that I need to like take these off and go to sleep so those are all my books I hope you guys liked it um and let me know if you like I'm just kidding oh look for validation it's fine I know my bookshelves are very chaotic um but this is how I like them very chaotic like me i'm an aries we thrive on chaos so yes um thank you guys so much for watching and i am sorry if maybe it was kind of boring i just didn't when i look at bookshelves i don't really like it when the person explains every single book like themselves i kind of like to see their thought process behind you know making making that shelf look like that and their little knickknacks and where they got that book or like if they like that book if they recommend that book you know because that's really where I get a lot of my recommendations um because you guys know that I am trying to be better at not looking up at the synopsis but I'm choosing books so when I see now youtubers booktubers who do their books their bookshelf tour and they just like say like oh this is a book that I love this is a book that I love I'm like add it to my tbr add it to my tbr so yes um that's it for me um thank you guys for watching and stay safe i will catch you guys in the next one stay safe and go read your favorite book for me bye i got a pretty like a girl and he got my stories to tell i see both sides like chanel see on both sides like chanel